Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this render by using the curvature shader pack. These shaders are fully procedural. You can get the pack on Blender Market through the link in the description. So let's get started. First let's go to File, Append and go to the folder where you have the curvature pack and go to this file here. Now go to Material and press A and Append. I'm going to do the same for the plywood. So let's select plywood here, hit shift A and add a Suzanne, press Control 3 to subdivide it three times and go to the modifier and set the render to 3. Let's hit shift A and add a Suzanne, press Control 3 to subdivide it and set the render to 3. Go into side view and rotate it like this. Now move it up. And let's rotate it again like this and hit Shift A and add a plane. Press S10. Now let's go into top view, select this hand and duplicate it randomly like this. I'm going to skip that. Now go up here and select everything except for the plane. Now press F3 and type in random and select randomize transform. Now change the Y location and the X location and let's also change the Z rotation. As you can see I set it to 50. Now make sure that none of the Suzanne's are intersecting with each other. Press Shift A and add a camera and position the view where you like it. I'm going to position it around here and press Ctrl Alt 0 to go into camera view. As you can see there are these empty spots here and here. I don't like that so I'm going to select a Suzanne and press G, Shift Z to move it on the X and Y axis only. And let's also select these two and do the same here and here. Now we can delete all of the Suzannes that are not in the frame of the camera. Now let's save. Now go to shading. I'm going to put a link to the HDRI that I'm using for this render in the description. I recommend that you use cycles for these shaders. They do work in Eevee but they require a lot of processing power from my experience. Now let's go into rendered view, select the plane and here go to the drop down and type in plywood and select this one. I'm going to press tab on the numpad now. And as you can see now we've got all these options here like the rings density and the balance. We can also change stuff like the stretch or the notch density. You can even change things like the early wood, rays and sporting. If you go down here you can change things like the paneling. This is useful for wooden floors for example. You can of course also change the colors. If you go down here you can change things like the paneling, this is useful for wooden floors for example. I'm going to set this back to zero. I'm going to press tab again now. Now let's select one of these sands and select the Adler. I'm going to set the rings density to 10 and the offset on the X or Y to a random value. I'm going to select a different kind of wood for every one of these sands and everywhere set the density to 10 and change the offset. Once you've done that, let's save again. As you can see, I repositioned this Suzanne slightly. Now let's hit Shift A and add an empty plane axis. Go up here to snapping and select face. Now press G and Control and now it's going to snap to the faces here. I'm going to put it around here. Let's go up here again and set it back to increment. Now select the camera, go into rendered view and go to the object data properties and enable depth of field. Select the empty as the focus object and I'm going to set this to 0.1. Now set the blades to 16. To make this look even better, at least in my opinion, you can go to color management under the render properties and set the look to very high contrast. I'm going to render it at 128 samplers with denoise enabled. 
I'm going to use optics. I recommend that you use the tool if you can. If you can't, then just use Open Image Denoise. Go to Compositing and enable Use Nodes. Add a Denoise node set to Accurate and enable Denoising data to get these outputs here. Go to the Output Properties and select the file format that you want. I'm going to set it to JPEG and set the quality to 100%. Save again and press F12 to render the image. So that's it with the tutorial, I hope you liked it. Remember to check out the coverture pack through the link in the description and I'll see you next time.